But the collar drag, I really need to do that hard. Yeah. If his elbow's in the middle, sorry. All right, and special. You gotta rip his arm. Yeah. Slide your butt. My right hand is gonna be my starting. I'm gonna slide my butt this way, then I'm gonna turn all the way the other way. Okay, so I need to do that together. I did a really weird break here for you guys to understand the, the movement. So I'm here, step out, slide, drag. Look, my hook's on the middle. Whatever I wanna do from here, I can. I can take this back, I can go step slice, all right? I can disengage from here if I want to, but the most important, I'm on top, okay? Arm drag, I pretty much do the same, but I bring my leg out and I go to the elbow, okay? I like to shoot really deep, because it's gonna slide for the point where I can have a good grip on the tricep the elbow. In my right hand, I use as a guide, because if I just drag it here, I'm gonna break his arm, most likely, you're gonna hug me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in the same, same, same spot. So I guide and boom. This is really easy to do, but it's really easy for him to read it. So when I'm here for the arm drag, I kick, I touch you, I try to bring your attention to something else. Then I can go. Okay. I most likely I'm here. Then when he moves into do something else. Yeah, that's gonna be here. Or if you move his other hand, I'm kicking heel. And you think, if you think I do that quick, wait to see the big bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the big bear gonna drag you all the way to the other side of the thing. <laughs> so collar drag. I use my knuckles on his collarbone, really with a lot of love to keep him away from me. You know that love? Thank you. Keep him away from me. If you're here too deep, you're gonna need to go to the, sh the choke. But at the same time, you can lock your elbow if you push. So you wanna be here, loose. Pull and push. Leg go up, I slide, switch. See, I have my hip opening this way. I slide and I shift to the other way. Cool? So here, boom, he's holding my pants, whatever. Kick it out. His question was, Rafi, his elbow, kind of weird when I do collar drag. When I collar drag, look, his elbow's gonna be hugging me. But the collar drag, I really need to do that hard. Yeah. If his elbow's in the middle, sorry. Yeah. All right, and special. You, you gotta rip his arm. Yeah, he, he needs to. that arm is gonna come in your head. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come, it's gonna hurt you. You need to drag him as hard. You want him to smash his face on the floor. <coughs> I, yeah, I was around 21, brown belt. <laughs> BTT back in the days in Brazil was one week before the words. Some black belt, I was passing his guard, bullfighter, I was really good bullfighter. He'd call a drag me, man, my neck went all the way to my lower back, yes. <laughs> I think I still have problems on my neck because of <laughs> the So yeah, if you're standing, please stand. I'm not gonna I can't hurt nobody right now, I'm not with men. So here, it's even worse. The grab is my own my favor now, big time. He's moving, so boom, boom, pretend he looks. Shit. Cool? And I just waiting for the question, but nobody did the question. There's no wrestlers here? Liar. We drag. Yeah, but um, what you know what the Russians used to do all times? When I'm looking on the floor? When I, I'm dragging, they kind of hug me here and they close the leg. Like yes. To get that extra bounce. So from here, I'm gonna regain a little space, redrag, but now look, I need to use that spring. You might fit as a spring, go up, then look my hand. Okay? I'm an old man right now. Old times, I used to be able to do a little more <laughs> twist. So I'm here with Orlando sometimes, even crossing this, but he's gonna pose that leg to boost off my chest, my motion. Okay, good. So from here, we're gonna throw to the side. You just need to be aware of your elbows when you land. 
so that you don't get caught in the nasty triangles. I hate tall guys. Good? Question on this? So <clears throat> it's, it's the intensity that you're pulling that's going to keep you from getting stuck in half guard, yeah. right? So it's just, it's just a time. Always slide. Even if you hit the wall in front of you here, you're going to go to the wall. Okay. Slide and drag. Slide and drag. And drag. To work your head. Yes. Cool. Uh, I was literally drilling this move every time I touch my knees. Every day. You see, I don't even let in. You put the hand. Yeah, hip, as soon as you put the hand, I need to answer. Guys, uh, on the call of drag, that right there, I just want to show in the one detail that I will do. You guys fucked up. It's going to be very gentle. So, look this. When we do the call of drag, right? Same thing. I'm going right to explain everything already. I'm not going through that. I'm going to talk about chapter. So, when I pull Orlando here and he goes, I do not touch my elbow on the floor. So, what I do different, my hand changes and push. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's what I said, throw his face on the floor. Like when we do this, this dark, you do the same thing, you just didn't put the, uh, didn't say, you didn't want to get you know. I don't like that. You see the difference when yeah. I stretch you. So the movement is simple, it's very, very simple. Again, I'm not gonna explain anything about the legs, it's already there. You're gonna go pull, right? Now look at my hand, pull, pull, I don't go on my elbow. A lot of people like to do this. Mm -hmm. I don't. As I pull, 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 punch. And that's when happens. <coughs> Makes sense. And these, keep it, touch it up. Keep him away from me. So that's a little detail. So, you okay? You okay? Yeah. Do you feel that's easy to teach kids? Or do you? I don't know. I never taught you. I don't remember teaching kids. <laughs> this because I'm afraid. To, I'm afraid they're gonna smash their face on the floor. I, my, I think it could be. I think it could be way easier. One thing I learned uh, this move is this: when you do this way, you don't put your elbow on the floor. So you can't because if you put your elbow on the floor, you can't extend your arm. So stop it from 100% for the adults. You stop it them from throwing that elbow on the floor. So maybe it's gonna help with kids too, but be careful. Yeah, yeah. So they don't smash their nose. So if you're gonna teach kids, if you're gonna teach kids, have them put the elbow. Say, hey, when they do the technique, put your elbows on the floor first. Like fall over. Yeah. Well, uh, how do you call? Fall over. Fall. That's how we call. Yeah, we call front fall. <laughs> That's back in Brazil. Yeah. So do the. Forward, break, forward. Yeah. Oh, forward, break, forward. <laughs> forward, break. The accent. Yeah. I don't have an accent. I'm a boss. So, best can I say something about the teaching that for the kids? I'm, I'm against. Oh, okay. Because the same way that hurt my neck pretty bad, I'm concerned about hurting some kids' neck. I will never forgive myself if that happened. You know, under my watch. So, I prefer. They get the ex, the, the ex, ex kicker during the tournament, then hurting all the kids or something like that. There was a time, that's a long time ago now, I stopped somebody else's matches. It wasn't even my kid, because the, the kid put both hands under on the open guard, and the kid on top was walking forward. So it was really bad. Then later, when everybody understood what's happening, hey, thank you, coach, thank you. <laughs> but before, they want to kill me. Yeah. So yeah, I prefer, you know, if they hate me, then somebody get hurt. You don't, you don't show them the collar drag at all? or is that For the hurt? kids? Yeah. After 14 and 13. Yeah. And I really care for who I teach. And Some kids, they're not ready for that sort of coach. Yeah. So again, I'm not going over the leg stand in the whole thing. So we're going to go, as I pull Orlando, I'm going to go very slow. As I'm pulling him, go, go. When I see him pass my body, I punch. And that's the move, okay? But the drag punch, it's not straight. I kind of like pushing him to get up. So it's kind of my hand on the floor. Instead of the floor, it's on his collar to, to get up. If you want to go to his back, you just go to his back. If you want to do like a single leg type of thing, or if you you go to a single leg. It's up to you. But the whole detail is it's pulling. Turn. Locking the elbow, right? Locking the elbow. Yes. Locking the elbow.